Hey guys, what's up? This is Jai, and today I'm gonna give you a new video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how do I become co-leader fast. So probably you're in the clan right now, and you want to get co-leader as soon as possible. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how to reach your goal. And yeah, let's get started. So in the meanwhile, when I'm gonna give you some tips on how to become co-leader fast, um, I'm gonna show you a replay, and I call this the co-leader attack because I used um, every letter in the world in the word co-leader with any troop or spell and made a very weird troop and spell combination of it so I hope you guys enjoyed the co-leader attack and I'm gonna give you some tips right now so yeah let's get started so one last thing before we get started I'm so sorry but one last thing um, I'm gonna show you a replay here and as you can see at the bottom I use my barbarian king the barbarian king is not part of the co-leader attack because his uh, barbarian king starts with a B, and B is not in the word co-leader. So I'm so sorry for that, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, act like there's no barbarian king, which is kind of hard, but I'm sorry. So uh, the first thing, never ask to never ask for co-leader. If you come in the clan and be like, hey, can I have co-leader? Guess what? He's not going to give it to you. And if he does, that explains that he's such a bad leader. So that's rule number one, and it should stay like that. And yeah... Don't forget that rule. The second rule is very easy. Be active and yeah, just be active always at all times. Uh, whenever you can, be active, talk on the chat, whatever. Uh, don't leave the clan. Don't go hop and ask troops and come back. That doesn't help. That makes the leader so pissed. And since I'm a leader, I've experienced with this, so don't do that. Don't leave the clan. Stay in the clan and stay loyal. Um, in the clan war, in the clan war, uh, fill the clan castles with troops if the co-leader or leader gives you, um, the, g gives you the right to do that. If they don't give you, if they say don't donate troops in the clan war, then don't do it. But if you want to be nice, then offer to donate wizards or something like that. So act like, you know, you care about the clan. You should stay, you should act like that. Uh, and of course, I hope you mean it. So uh, the other one is donate a lot of troops. Always when someone is asking, donate him. Because donations uh, matter a lot for a leader. They always look at um, how much a person has donated before making them co-leader. But do watch out that you give the person what he wants. If he says barbarians, then give him barbarians. Don't give him anything else. Uh, the, the another rule is... Um, make friends in the clan, uh, talk with co-leaders, make friends with them, and especially make friends with the leader. Um, and also, um, ask friends and search on the global for other people who want to join your clan, and tell the leader, hey, look at that, um, I got this guy, and uh, I searched him, and I got him in the clan, and uh, yeah, it's, it's because of me that he's in the clan. That makes a leader very happy. And yeah, those are all the tips I have for you. So if you follow them, trust me, you'll become co-leader very fast. And uh, yeah, so that, those are my tips on how to become co-leader fast. Uh, maybe I'm missing out on a few points or important details. Uh, but I hope you guys don't mind. And also leave a like, comment, and tell me uh, what you think about my tips. And yeah, as you can see, the replay ended. It was a very sloppy attack. Yes, I know. And it was because of my barbarian king that I got that dark elixir, which is totally my bad. Act like he wasn't there. And yeah, guys, that's it. Comment, like, subscribe, like I said. And yeah, peace out.